Hey, welcome back. So in this video, I want to cover, uh, I guess, some of the new stuff. Um, so as you know, using the Altel 508, we've been using that on the channel and everyone else out there has been using it for doing those 30 pin cables, like for uh, Sequoias, Tundras, things like that. You know, backup emo data, plug this in, cool. Now Smart Pro or Advanced Diagnostics has their ADC 2021 cable similar um or basic in my opinion i think it's the same i'm not a, i'm not a doctor but i think it's the same um so let's kind of look and compare these two and kind of see what and why we would need these and kind of learn a little more so when you look at the cables this is going to be um from obd obd star cable cool and i use this for the altel 508 and that 30 pin plug it in where I plug this in the stop and I bypass that plug into the OBD and plug into the top of that cable and basically program it done it for Sienna's Tundra's Tacoma's all these different things pretty cool pretty simple uh, and then we have the advanced diagnostics um, cable cool it's just newer I guess it just I just got it recently I'm like this week um, I notice this cable it's a it's a beefy boy it's really thick very very thin and flimsy it's okay I haven't had any problems so I've used this for about a year now um, heavy duty cool so I guess looking at this a kind of interesting thing is the plugs are the same obviously because it's going in the same like module the same literally the same marker that's kind of or black Okay, cool. So it kind of depends on what you're doing. Now the weird thing was I didn't have this cable and on a previous video for a 24 Tacoma, I was using the Altel and this cable, Altel didn't work. So I used the Smart Pro and instead of using this cable, I use this cable. That's the same thing, same gateway per se. It's just whatever brand floats your boat. And that's what it, I guess it comes down to. So let's go ahead and kind of look at the, the softwares of stuff we would use these for to kind of uh, figure this out. So looking at the Smart Pro, we look at Toyota and let's just search uh, 23. So what other 23s? So we have a Corolla push button. Okay, so we have that there. We can have a 20, ooh. It's a special cable. So that's gonna be, I haven't done that one um, for those. Okay. I guess when I get to it, I get to it. It's a regular cable and it is bypass, a secondary. Cool. Um, if I do a Highlander, you know, regular cable, don't need that. If I do like a RAV 423, regular cable, and you have your TIS bypass, the old version, the 1226. Um, Tacoma. Cool. And let's go up to a 24. So if we look at a 24 Forerunner, let's see what's in here. Regular cable, regular TIS bypass. Cool. And we have a Grand Highlander. Regular cable. And, oh, now we have our TIS bypass. Okay, cool. I know it's this all keys lost cable. Interesting. That's that emulator. Looks like uh, Tacoma. Okay. So here's that's the one I did a while ago. That cable. So the, the original OBD cable plus that, and your your TIS bypass connect with Wi-Fi. Cool, simple. Um, Avenza. Avenza is going to be like backup emo data. Cool. Cool. I guess that's new stuff. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Now let's go ahead and look at put the Smart Pro stuff away. And then looking at the Altel. Altel, you have to like plug into the vehicle. So you can't really like go from there. So let's go back. I need an exit, exit. So let's do Toyota. I do manual selection. I still have to like 
plug into the vehicle before I can even learn stuff and see. So if I'm gonna look at, say, a Tacoma, like I did for that 24 Tacoma, smart key. So look here, it says it's an 8-8 chip key. It shows that information there where you plug in, but it doesn't really show anything else. Only when you're plugged into the vehicle, then it gives you information like showing the smart box information. Let's look at another one. I guess cite the, the videos I have on my channel. So um, let's see if Tundra, No information there. Hot function. Nothing ever there. But other than that, that's pretty simple when it comes to looking at our, our tools and machines.